We all know how important data structures are for our tech interviews. All big companies such as Microsoft, Netflix, Amazon, Apple, or the ones we popularly known as Mang have a dedicated round for DSA. And even the small and mid-sized companies most of the times do tend to ask DSA questions in their interview in some shape or form. But still, we always run away from it. Why? What's the reason? Is it because it's too hard? No. I feel like the majority of the reason lies in the hype that has been created around it in social media that intimidates people. Because there are people who have never spent eternity of their lives in doing DSA questions and still they won't have any issues creating logic for these questions. But I understand not everyone is built the same. And let's say if you're not that good in building logic, that's completely fine. Good thing is that it can be easily developed if you work hard. You know, as they say, hard work always beats talent. But hold on a second. What the hell is this data structures? It's just as the name suggests, it's how we can structure or arrange our data by using code. For example, if you have a list of name and you want to sort these names from A to Z, we can use sorting algorithms. Or let's say if you have a huge list of numbers with huge values and you need to find one particular number there. So you can use the binary search algorithm or some other search algorithm. And the reason for using these data structures or algorithms is because they make our life much easier and make our code much optimizable. Now I remember when I was trying to learn data structures a few years ago, I couldn't find a lot of resources that explain data structures with JavaScript in depth. And even till this day, there are not much resources or courses out there. So that is why I decided to make this course for absolutely free here on YouTube. And in this course, we will cover all the major topics that are frequently asked such as array, string, recursion, link list, sorting and searching algorithms, as well as advanced topics like trees, graphs, dynamic programming, etc. in easiest way possible. And the only prerequisite for this course is just the very, very basic understanding of programming. It can be any language, if, even if you're coming from C, C++, Java, that is completely fine. I will explain you every single aspect of data structures in JavaScript nice. in depth. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet because the next video which is going to be on big O notation that is time and space complexity is going to be dropping very very soon. And I really want to urge every single front-end developer that's watching this video to start using JavaScript for DSA questions. No C, C++, Python, Java or whatever you're using. Trust me, you will develop a god level logic in JavaScript if you start doing DSA in it and all of your knowledge gaps will be filled.